Hey gang, ready for a third video on using Photoshop Smart Objects? Now in previous videos, I've already talked about animating and placing Smart Objects, and I also discussed non-destructive filters. But this time, I'll revisit an old Photoshop panel and show you how useful it can be when combined with Smart Objects. Welcome to Creative Pro's Mastering Photoshop Smart Objects Episode 3, Layer Comps. Now this is my project. It's a simple desk image, but I think it would look a lot cooler if I changed the white background here in this computer screen. Now I want to achieve this by placing a linked Photoshop document, which I'm going to prepare from Bridge. I've got three images here good to go, and they all have the same pixel dimensions. Now I'm going to create a separate Photoshop document and place in these three images as separate layers. Now the quickest way to achieve this is by going through Adobe Bridge. So let me select these three images, go up to Tools, choose Photoshop, and I'm going to choose Load Files into Photoshop Layers. And this will take Photoshop, load in all these images in a new separate document, as you can see it's called Untitled, and it will even get the layer names correct. See? Already done. Now let me save this project. Choose File, Save As, let me call this one Images, choose OK. And now let me take a look at the layer visibility. I want to save a layer comp of every separate image. Now what's a layer comp? Well, layer comps have been around for many years now and you would use it to save a predefined set of attributes when you're looking at your layers panel. For example, if I go up to Window and choose Layer Comps, then I can play around with either the Layer Visibility attribute, Layer Position, or Layer Style, the layer effects that have been applied to those individual layers. And I can create presets from these and then save these as my favorite layer compositions. Now, in this example, I'll keep it very simple and I will only use the eye as in the visibility attributes. So let me just deselect the eye icons for all these two layers here, except for mountain. Let me save this visibility for my mountain layer as a new layer comp. Click this button for new layer comp. I'm going to use mountain as a name. And make sure that the visibility is checked. Okay, I don't require the position and I also don't require the appearance of this layer. Choose OK. And now I have my separate mountain layer comp. Let's try this again. This time I'm going to use the night sky image. Same thing, new layer comp, night, choose OK. Third one, snow.jpg, same thing here, snowy image, new layer comp, snow, choose OK. And now I have three layer comps. See, these actually act, uh, act as presets for all of these individual layers here. Now, let me save my document, file, and choose save. So now I'm back in my main project and it's time to place in the Photoshop file that I just saved. So I'm gonna choose file, place linked, and double click my images.psd that I just created, and double click to confirm. As you can see, this comes in as a linked smart object. Now it's time to transform this. I'm gonna lower the opacity so I can see what I'm doing. Hit Command T on the keyboard on my Mac, which is Control T on Windows, to free transform this layer. And I'm gonna tr transform this and give it a perspective shape. I'm gonna try and match the perspective of the screen here. Now it doesn't have to be precise, it's just an example of course, so I'm pretty sure you're gonna get whatever I'm doing. Okay, maybe just move this back just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna confirm this and move the opacity slider back up to 100%. Now, as you can see, I have my image in place. Now, the thing is, if I want to change my mind and choose, say, a different image, for example, the, the night sky image or maybe the mountain image, well, you might be tempted to go back to the layer comps, but this is empty. I cannot use this here. And that's simply because if you want to access the layer comps of a linked smart object, you have to go through the Properties panel instead. In the Properties panel, you can not only check the X and Y coordinates or width and height, but you can also access, as you can see, all the layer comps that have been saved into this project, which is really cool.
because now I can come in and choose, for example, night. As you can see, it just switches the layer of visibility inside of my linked Photoshop file. If I can back and uh, maybe choose mountain, again, it will adapt itself. And I can actually go up to the filter menu and start applying filters to this as well. Choose OK, and maybe play around with the blending options just a little bit. Um, I like screen. There we go. So I've got this nice glow effect now. And even now I can come back here and choose something else. For example, snow. There we go. And again, it will just retain all those effects automatically. Now this is a really cool way of working because I don't have to keep my original uh, Photoshop composition open all the time. Okay, I don't have to change the original. I can just save all the presets I like and then use those presets within this main composition here, which is really cool. So that's it. So now I've got my image all good to go. I've got all my electronic stuff in here, all the things I like, except for maybe this bow tie. That's not mine. Of course, there's more to come, so be sure to keep in touch by following Creative Pro on Facebook and Twitter. And of course, don't forget to check out all the cool stuff we have on the website as well. My name is Bart, signing off.